This is how James Byrd Jr.'s family remembers him, full of joy and singing. History recalls him differently as a victim of a heinous hate crime. He always said that uh, through his music, that one day I'm gonna put Jasper, Texas on the map, just wait and see. Um, and then legacy would be that he put Jasper on the map, but it wasn't for his music. It's to, it's to show that hate is still alive and well, even in this decade. In June of 1998, Bird, a 49-year-old black man, was beaten by three white men, chained to a pickup, and then dragged to death near Jasper, Texas. His body dumped in front of a black church, the murderers motivated by racial hatred. The incident brought visits from the Ku Klux Klan and the Black Panthers. More than 20 years after, on April 24th, one of the convicted, John William King, will be put to death by lethal injection. It could be a message to the world that um, um, when you do something horrible like that, that uh, you have to pay the high penalty. The crime haunts the family and Jasper, Texas. I want to say that we're stuck at that, st that stigma of the James Bird incident. I believe as a city, we choose not to grow because we can't come together long enough to move forward. Rashad Lewis, a city council member who's also running for mayor, was in middle school when Bird was murdered. And then the next week is so much tension in the school because now you have kids who, who you know are coming to school with Confederate shirts, Confederate belt buckles. While acknowledging the past pain, the current mayor says Jasper wants to look forward. It recently attracted outside investment. Uh, they were very upfront. They said, you know, a lot of our, cl our clients, and it's big name clients, uh, the name Jasper Texas came up and they went, oh. And managed to convince a tech services company to locate in Jasper. The East Texas city is a multi-ethnic community, and after his death, Bird's sisters say Jasper had an overdue talk on race relations. Um, hate is a lack of education. You're not born to hate. It's a learned behavior. In reaction, Texas refined its hate crime laws to make them less vague. Lawmakers amended federal hate crime laws, too, in Bird's name. Only after Bird's death did a fence separating the city cemetery into a black and white section come down. Bird's grave itself remains surrounded by a fence because it's been desecrated several times. Uh, my brother still is, is held in bondage. The family has made sure Jasper remembers, and they did so at their expense, installing a park bench by the courthouse and a park, both bearing Bird's name. They also hold their own commemorations. We think maybe one day they'll call us and say, okay, this is the anniversary of James' death as a town. I want your family to come and be a part of this. That has never happened. His sisters say almost half a city is pained by not talking enough about the past. The execution is a reminder, they say, another chance to continue a dialogue. John Moan, Associated Press, Jasper, Texas.